Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to answer a very, very important question. And the question is, how Fee Rani's model is an improvement over Lewis model? We know that anyway, Fee Rani's model is actually an improvement over the Lewis model. But how? This is what is being considered for today's discussion. Let's get started for the same. In the Lewis model, which was actually the first model uh, compared to the Ferrand's model, it was a Lewis model that came first. So this particular model, uh, it was actually considering two sectors, the agricultural sector as well as the industrial sector or the capitalist sector. Here. Uh, Lewis model was actually underscoring the significance of agriculture sector. It was not even realizing the significance of under, uh, agriculture sector. It was just utilizing the agriculture sector for industrial development. It is definitely a very, very important model of economic growth, which looks into the role of agriculture sector in industrial development. This is what it tells. Role of agriculture in industry development here one of the important problem with respect to this model is that this model does not provide any evidence related to the interaction between the capital sector and the uh, agriculture sector it just says that the surplus labor that is generated in the agriculture sector can be taken by the industrial sector. So when the industrial sector absorbs the surplus labor in the agriculture sector, that will lead to industrial development. This is what Lewis model says. And here only one sector continues to grow while the other lag behind. Here we could see that the capitalist sector or the industrial sector would grow. This is what grow and when it grow, it will grow at the expense of the agriculture sector because it is getting some labor from the agriculture sector. And uh, Lewis always say that, okay, the marginal productivity of labor uh, as far as the agriculture sector is concerned, this is zero. Because you, there exists something called this gas and employment. So even if you remove some people from agriculture sector, it does not affect the total product in agriculture sector. It is with this assumption that Lewis go forward his way of explaining the way in which agriculture sector promotes industrial development. But definitely you will reach a particular point where the marginal productivity of labor is not zero. What will happen if Agriculture sector requires more people. In such a scenario, what will happen if there is a migration of people from agriculture to industry? That will definitely hamper the agriculture sector. So one sector will be growing. That is the industrial sector would be growing at the cost of the agriculture sector. Now, moving to the free, free runners model, we consider it as an improvement over the, um, the uh, Lewis model. Here we consider the interaction between the agriculture and the capital sector. So here we consider the interaction between these two sectors. And as per Fee and Ranis, this interaction is what that lead to development at the end. And for the very same reason, we could see that this model is something that is closer to reality as far as the least developed economies are concerned because it is looking at the role of population as well. When we say population, it is not a constant population, but instead we are focusing on a population growth. Because in LDCs, there exists a huge population growth and this population growth will be having some impact on the labor market and labor force. And this connection is very much missing as far as the Lewis model is concerned. We could see that Lewis model was not at all identifying any role to a very important section of people that is landlords. But when it comes to fear on this model, 
the role of landlord is very very important because this person might be prompted to introduce some innovation some technological progress and what will happen if there is innovation and some technological progress so these all will be stimulating development so development in agriculture is a result of innovation and technological progress taken up by landlord can happen under two circumstances the first scenario would be if the price is allowed to rise that is if pre increases then this happens then in case of subsidization of input cost then also the very same thing can happen and this is something that lewis was not discussing lewis actually missed it now with respect to lewis model we could see that the speed of transfer of labor from agriculture sector to the industrial sector this is something that would depend upon several factors like the profit in industrial sector or the capital sector as per lewis it is this that will determine the pace of movement of labor from agriculture to industry but when it comes to fiorentis model the model says that the pace of movement from labor pace of movement of labor from agriculture to industry would depend upon many other factors and they were identifying the population growth as well as they were identifying the role of technical progress or technology and they say that when it comes to the capital in the industrial sector this would depend upon the profit the capital is actually a function of profit as well as surplus this is what cn brand is believed now again you if you look at the lewis model you could see that the end result of lewis model is something that will give you a loop sided pattern of development why because lewis model was just focusing on the growth of industry or growth of capital sector and this will happen at the cost of agriculture agricultural sector Uh, so as per lewis it, it is impossible for both the sectors to grow simultaneously and he says that whenever the capital sector grows at the expense of the agriculture sector there exists a gap between agriculture and industry or capital sector and this gap will be increasing always and that will be the situation that happens whenever you have a clear cut distinction between agriculture and industry but when you come to free and rana's model uh, these people believe that we are actually dealing with a balanced growth that means we are looking for the improvement and development of both agriculture as well as industry or the capital sector so both are required to improve in a simultaneous fashion because if both of these do not increase simultaneously it will create some stagnation in the economy and that will create more and more issues so that is all about the way in which you can consider lewis model and free rana's model and we could see that lewis model and free rana's model these are relating both are relating uh to the agriculture sector and industrial sector but definitely fian rana's model is an improvement over lewis model as far as the way in which the interaction of agriculture and industry is concerned so that's it hope you could understand i uh, thank you for watching i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos also you can be a part of our telegram community by clicking on to the link given in the description box you can also download the learn economy app for which also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching